Welcome back. Well, no doubt cooler air starting to slip into the state. Get things right to it right now and show you up in Buena Vista looking out west. Mountains catching a dose of snow right there. Likely going to see about one to three in that particular location. Woodland Park right now, 48 degrees. Beautiful evening up there, but again, likely going to see a little snowfall up there. Here into the springs, there's that big cloud bank starting to move in. Our ABBA Eye Care camera showing a beautiful shot of that, of what's to come. Check out that HD Doppler. This was kind of the first wave of moisture that moved through. A little bit of rain we've seen out of this so far, and even some lightning, a dose of thunder snow as it rolls over top of the higher elevations. To give you the big story of where things are cooking and what's driving this force, we've got an area of low pressure up north of Montana, clear up into Canada. That's what's hooked onto all that Pacific moisture and began to drag it across the state, also bringing with it those colder temperatures. Here's how it's playing out. Area of low pressure, big cold front, big area of cold air right behind it. Here's how it's going to play out. Throughout tonight, that cold front's going to continue to enter into the region, instigating some snowfall right along that borderline. Now, don't worry. We will break down how much we're going to get in just a moment. As for Monday morning, about 5.30, right on the border of the city here into the springs, that's where that cold front's going to be landing. Rather clear out front, but winds are going to be a bit of an issue. That colder air will continue to settle across the region, leaving mountain snow pretty much all the way through Monday afternoon. That system will start to clear out, though, Monday into Tuesday, a much clearer evening once about 10 p.m. Uh, Monday rolls around. So here's how the snow accumulation is going to break out. Again, pretty much staying into the high country. We're not expecting to see a lot into the plains. For the Palmer Divide region, we are looking at a rain-snow mix, not a lot of accumulation, a little bit slushy for your morning commute. As we go into Woodland Park and Cripple Creek, likely about one inch, most of it again staying into the high country. Over to Buna Vista, right between two and four inches of snow. Again, you can see the pinks there. That's a little bit heavier snowfall, but as for down in the valley, just a little Scotia snowfall and one to three inches as we move just near the Walsenburg region. As for tonight's temperatures, here's how things are going to shape up for us. Starting to get a bit chilly, especially into the foothills, looking at 38 degrees into Pueblo, 33 into the uh, Canyon City region. Tomorrow, much cooler than what we've seen. Quite a big drop in temperatures. Now, eastern Colorado staying a little bit warmer. And ahead of that front, but we're still looking at the 40s throughout the mountain locations. As for the next seven days, here's how things play out. There is hope inside, I promise. After those rain showers move through, skies are going to clear and it's going to get pretty nice outside. Looking at the 60s, nearing 70s by next weekend. Into Pueblo again, snow and kind of a rain snow mix up through Monday into Canyon City. We're looking at 46 degrees on Monday and then 60s to follow with 70 degrees by Friday. Those overnight lows, though, still staying very very chilly, especially into Teller County. Overnight lows not really breaking that 30 degree mark until Friday night. So even though we're getting a bit warmer after the cold front passes through, it's still going to stay chilly overnight. Again, if you haven't blown out the sprinklers, you want to do so because with overnight lows like that for an entire week, that ground's going to start to freeze up pretty darn quickly on us. Yeah, winter is coming. Yes. Yes. All right, all right, Jason. Thanks, thanks. a lot.